The Central American country of Costa Rica is celebrated for its beautiful and diverse tropical rainforests. So now, on Ocean Trek's Conservation Connections, we'll be venturing to these rainforests, working with a conservation project focusing on one of their smallest species of primates. In the Central American country of Costa Rica is the popular town of Punta Arenas. The port is positioned as a perfect gateway to experience Costa Rica's famed ecotourism and lush rainforests. Around the world, these precious ecosystems are disappearing, but conservationists like Sam Troll are fighting to save this habitat and its amazing species. Look at this. Do you love your job going to work every day? Yeah, it's pretty great. If you are fascinated by life on Earth, there is no country like Costa Rica that offers such a smorgasbord of biodiversity to explore. All the rainforest of the Earth contains 60% of all life. But we're looking for one very specific life form, aren't we? We are. So our plan today is to look for a sloth that is close enough to the ground that we can grab. And then we're going to take some samples and see how healthy the sloth is. And the focus of your study is to do what? We want to learn as much as we possibly can about sloths so that we can help to save them, save individuals and save population. All right, let's go look. The two species of sloths living in Costa Rica are the three-toed and two-toed. While the two-toed sloth tends to be a bit larger than the three-toed, both species spend the majority of their time hanging out in the canopy of the rainforest. And sighting one in the wild is a special experience that draws many visitors to Costa Rica's rainforest. Ooh, right there. This is what we're looking for. You can see it right there. Radipus variegatus. Exactly. All right, let's do it. We must gently place the sloth in a special carrier so we can safely transport her to Sam's lab. Okay, guys, there you go. A beautiful three-toed sloth. She's a young one. Yeah, she's, she's young. She is now a part of an incredible research project that's working to unravel the mysteries of these creatures. Yep. All right, let's give her a little privacy. <laughs> All right. All right. Good job. Back to the lab? Sounds good. To the lab. Okay, guys, welcome to the ultimate living laboratory here in Costa Rica. We're surrounded by this lush rainforest. This is where we live, this is where we work. So the first thing we're gonna do is just actually take a look at her. For example, her face is nice and clean. So if her face was dirty, it could mean she could that have she's an sick. infection or something. Exactly. So her face is nice and clean. Oh, look at all her moths. So this is cool, guys. That is not because she's disheveled or a little bit sloppy. <laughs> she is actually a mini ecosystem herself, isn't she? She is. She can have moths live in her, obviously external parasites live in her, and then they can have green algae growing on them, though it doesn't look like she has much. So on the fur of the sloth, we will find an algae found nowhere else on the planet. And we will find invertebrates, tiny little creatures, nowhere else on the planet. Sam, why do you need these measurements? So we like to know that their body condition is good because weight tells you one thing, but body condition actually tells you more. Of course, their names, three-fingered or three-toed sloth, comes from the digits you can see right here. Uno, dos, tres, you can see three incredibly long talon-like claws. So I'm gonna check her skin. So we like to look for external parasites, ones that you can't see with your eyes. Like mites and ticks Like and mites. I feel like this part is a favor. I'm taking yeah. her ticks off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're very pretty. She yes, is pretty. You are. And by studying ectoparasites like ticks, what do you hope to learn? So we want to um, know the diseases that the ticks have and therefore the diseases they're exposed to. Skin looks good. All right. Now for her favorite part. What? I'm gonna get some blood. Blood, okay. So it looks a wee bit invasive, but by getting this blood sample, which is a minimal irritant, there is a maximum amount of information we can actually learn from that. This is super hard to get, but it's super exciting. She looks great on the outside, but how do we know what's going on, on the inside until we can take a look? Exactly. She's We're gonna put her back. Now. All right. She sure seems healthy. <laughs> All right, back to the rainforest she goes. Let's let her go. Well, this is where we found her. And this is where she needs to go. Back to her home, back into the canopy where she belongs. Exactly, we're just gonna mark one of her fingers with some nail polish. Okay, a little something so we know who she is in the future. I do have to say, it is a beautiful color for her. Her eyes just pop. 
She's ready to go. So this gorgeous little sloth, for me, the ultimate ambassador of Costa Rica. Nothing tells the story more of this spectacular tropical wilderness. My dear, you are free to go home. My sweetheart. Thank you so much, Sam. Thanks for your help. That was awesome. Now you know why I love Costa Rica. <laughs>